What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Lobo. Hey. Yeah, and in today's episode, we have USC on the schedule. We have to go to California, have a party, and come home with a W. And we will have a new star in QB today. We're going to let Darnell Mason Jr. start a whole game. Tim Alvarez started a whole game last game. And probably Dexter Brady will start a whole game in the next one. Depends on how good Darnell Mason Jr. plays. But anyway, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, the way you be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one. And also slide in the comment section and let me know how you feel about the quarterbacks ain't nobody really saying nothing about the qbs man let me know how y'all feel because i'm still trying to figure it out but let's hop into this game and see how darnell mason does in his full first game start and for the team stats we got usc as their offense seems to be uh hit and miss they do good as far as total points and rushing but the total yards and passing yards can be a little bit better on the defensive side they also hit and miss over there as well as they give up a lot of yards a lot of rushing yards they do okay as far as defending the pass and they don't give up a whole lot of points and for you new mexico lobos we score a lot of points we get a lot of yards not so much on the passing side but day day has been running the ball very efficiently so far this season and on the defensive side what more do i need to say those guys have been locked in so far this season only giving up 11.3 points per game a total of 255 yards 187 passing and only 67 yards rushing i like it top players for usc we got a cornerback a middle linebacker and a left guard top players for your lobos we got tim alvarez we got mr anderson and we got dg damian gilmore the sack man himself they do have a defensive end that's out with a foot fracture will that make a difference i don't know hi everybody reese davis with you bringing you the ea sports but we headed NCAA to usc pregame show presented and the trojans gone Nissan. have to see Innovation me that excites on the, the field have not only put together a nice win and i hope that darnell mason can throw the pill their entire campus now the question is will get they some be touch able to downs. handle everybody on campus patting them on the back we might telling act them how a clown they are and telling them how they expect a big i win hope it game. goes down that's going to do it for us in our favor checking out the pregame show ncw tell the trojan fan to see you later right at you brad and kirk on the call because you ain't got no chance on paper yeah it's time for a battle oh my god yeah we gonna pit them like an apple oh shit you know they rocking red and yellow we don't care we gonna mash them up like jello <laughs> tell the trojan horse to say hello bitch we got the pedal to the metal oh yeah yeah. The Macho Man's gonna eat your ass! And now it's time for the coin toss, <laughs> and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke Let's get it. taste, zero calorie. A lot of Trojan fans in here. Ready? Big opening! Uh oh. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 46 yard okay. line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. Let's lock it down. Decision. All right, and nobody's blocking. We, we got, got him. And they got him with a blitz. Yeah, that time the pressure came from the safety position. Nobody picked him up, but he Let's came up with a time play. Hey. Off in the nope, way. nope. Push him out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45. Might have been some. And that's a false start on the offense. False start. False start. Fat fella. They'll get back it up. Another try after the flag. And on do it again. Down. Under pressure. Oh, you missed me. Uh, he sails it long. Oh my catch there before they can knock it out of bounds. You know, they did a great job. Should have been sacked. Past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. I don't know why he jumped up. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. He's tackled at the 26. Mm. Get six yards on the carry. Y'all run into that boy. 
He's under some heat. Big up the Mountains, Martino! The offense took an errant shot into the end zone, and I'll tell you what. He gets it up. We'll take the field goal. Reese Davis is getting he really ain't got no choice. But we have number 14, Oregon, going down. They lose to UCLA. UCLA captures the four point win. And uh, our the custom Hawkeye recruit, came into the game Mr. Williams Jr., is Brandon. The Folsters keep them high in the rankings. And I think Hunter, it is. They won two straight. And for Wade, he was yeah, reading Brandon Williams Jr. brilliantly, throwing for more than 300 yards. Rutgers gets the W. He scrambled. Uh, Good job here by the defense. As you can see, they're ganging up to take away the run. He be run that slant. Brian Murphy run uh, out. Um, uh, sorry, run a slant too. I didn't change that play all the way up. Anyway, now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up oh on the side. God. All right. Oh my God! Like these dudes is extra fast today. He lets it fly. Got him. Lightning. McQueen. That makes it first and ten. Yes, sir. And they get nice yardage on that road. Shoe string tackle. has got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And he holds that one in. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Go DJ, that's my DJ. And I'm gonna tell y'all why I said, "Oh no," that's because I hit the wrong button. I was trying to throw the Brian Murphy. <laughs> but it worked out though. Nice run there. He's taken down at the 41 yard line. It, bitch. Damn it. That's a great tackle. Damn it, Davis. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Get up in there. Oh, damn it. I ran right into him. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Well, I was about to say, if y'all don't bat that down. <laughs> Tries to get around the corner. Come on, man. Y'all got to hold that edge. Oh, and he had some steam on that. smoke it pops. bring him down at midfield. Like they hold defenses geared to stop the run right now. Get out of, bounds. out of bounds at the 45 yard line, and down he goes. At the 37. Still gonna try to run it though. He's gonna try and scramble. Just throw it away. And he throws it away. And decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. That makes it third and three. Run right up behind nice him. Run up the middle. Oh shit! Now he's flushed and they got it. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start. To... And that's the end of the first quarter. We actually have a lead, which is nice. We actually scored in the first quarter, which is nice. The Lobos in front, seven three. Hopefully we can continue the trend. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Oh, Down right around the 36 yard line. Scrambling around. Here they come. And they make the stop around the 34 yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. They'll Luckily, call it the field goal unit. 
We got a field goal kicker that can make this. Oh, it's up. And he nails yeah. the long field goal. 51 yarder. It was good. And he's level at the 18th. I, I run. And that, folks, is this kid's 10th sack of the year. Boy, it takes a really special player to, be able to consistently things. perform at such a high level ain't no week game. in and week out. It's been a great season for this guy. Oh, my God. He on X Games mode. He's ah, no, sir. You ran into DG play. that time. Call the loss of five yards on the play. That's Damian Gilmore, the Dollar General. And here's a quick throw. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off. <laughs> Got the corner. I told y'all he was gonna get one. I told y'all he was gonna get one. I didn't know when. Boy, my boy was going to get one. What an incredible display of athleticism and balance. Oh, boy. Can't make the tackle. He's in the open. And he's tackled right around the floor. Uh, a heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college oh, football. Shit. This play was Here definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this like, game. Dude, he's running slow motion. It's Jeremy Davis. Nope. I was outside anyway. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 23. Doesn't yard matter. They will get the first down. On the field. Might have been offside. Defense. You big dummy. On there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. He's in trouble. Mm. Fires incomplete. He's Garrett Steeper. It's a throw away. He gets rid of this one. Good Just tackle, Marcino Patillo. The kick is up, and it sails through the upright. All right. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Hold him to another field goal, Time and we got California and for Arizona, with the lead over Arizona. Losing two straight. California, the have the edge lead over Utah. Arizona. Williams gets a toss. Good block. Knocked out of bounds. Okay. That's the 41. Runs outside for a nice game. He's on the run. He's knocked out of bounds. Pick up what we can pick up. 45. Now he tries to buy some time. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yes. And the safety oh with the interception. God. Of course he jumps up there and get it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, of but course. this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how... Mm. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. They get nice yardage on that run. Hey. Oh. No way to do that. That's a loss of one. Oh, hey. 10, 19. Hey. 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 Good tackle. Nice gain as he works to the right side. Hey. Hey. Ah. Good tackle. Good That's what I'm talking about. He gets it up. And Another it's field goal. Points. We got to put touchdowns on the board, bro. The defense, I think, done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. Bruh. Let's see if they can hold on here in the second half. Quick strike to the receiver. Ooh, good block. Got some good open block. field. Got another one. Tackle Let's go. Around the 40 yard line. Go, DJ. That's my DJ. 
Screen passes on the way. At least some works. Watch it all. Go no, short. Almost intercepted. Like there's no way they're gonna be able to play us one on one the whole game on the outside, bro. On the ground with the tailback. It don't even matter right now though. Because we got Dave! Drop a level 40 piece! No nugget! So they give it to the All-American and he That's takes a 40 it piece all the way. Chicken Everybody's dinner. been talking about this guy before the season even started. And today we're getting a chance to see how good he really is. Field goal on their last possession. Catches it and he's looking for more. He gets hit uh, out can't be giving up right that. the 38 yard line. Good That's tackle. He's got nowhere to go. No. Nope. He might not be able to get the pass off. Throws this one out to the right. Great catch and he's out of bounds. Just a Martinez standing the right over there, there bro. What are you doing? Any adjustments to counter. He just standing there. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 23 yard line. No, sir. Comes out. They fall on it. Hey, hey, run. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Come here! Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Police! Help! I got you again! He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the A.A. Ron going to single him and knock him out of field goal range. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! There was some movement on the line. And that's a false start. Ball start offense. Bag it up. Just a minute. Now you gotta punt it. You're a big dummy. Yards. Still fourth down. You big dummy. Yeah. Let it go. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. He scrambled. Going deep. Lays it out there. Go the DJ. Catch. Down the That's my line. deep. Yard line. Oh, damn it. Damn. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. 24 to so 9. So close. Lobo. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA All Sports right. so, NCAA Football 14 half. That was a decent show half presented of football. By Nissan. On Innovation both sides of the ball, excited. I know we struggle at times here in the studio as always on the so offensive side. Perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. If I had to guess, but both quarterbacks we started to pick it up a little bit. Right now, you got to find a way to get the ball into Brian Murphy's hands. Yes, that. <laughs> that man was the <laughs> MVP of the season last year. And hit often in this Pretty game. much how when it came to receiving the ball. Got to find a way to get the ball in his hands. We well, also got to find a way to get the running game going. My career, we can figure those two things out. We'll be all right. And, you know, once they, it's so easy to be at I mean, we do have 72 yards rushing, but I would like to have 100. When they start you have 100 and a half, and you get 100 in the second half, you got 200 yards rushing. They know in the back of their mind when they're stepping in that 200 yards rushing is good. So it makes the great quarterback. Can we turn the ball over? Even gives them happy feet, makes them step up in the pocket and feel pressure that's not always there. So if you get to him, I take chances, but it also and I take a lot of doubt in his head later on about that. That's the result. David's ready to get back on that interception. Remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back. And I'll live with it. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Outside. He gets to about the 27 yard line. He's scrambling. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And Hit down the he goes at about the 31. Here's the give. And he's taking down at the 40 yard line. He fights forward to about the 43. Okay, come on. Only picking up four, but that makes it good hard running. He's taken down around the 43 yard line. The ball is oh. picked up by the defense. 
USC oh, has some new faces oh, on the roster that they're expecting. Just need to get down. Quit trying to do. College football. New faces every year. Just on get on the ground. Stars, and the newcomers are kind of splashing out of the scene. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gives it off. Damn. First down here, Brad, by this offense. The receiver's running the football. No, sir. He's tackled at the 37. Ah. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That's a game of two on play. That brings up third and ten. And he's left uh, at the 13-yard line. There's a flag. Got to be a flag on that. Most likely, is going to be on the defense. I'm about to say they out there blocking, man. Thank you. Field goal range. Round the 28 yard line. Kicks away. And he just drilled it from long range. All their points come from field goals. And they only down by 12. Ain't that something? After a turnover is a perfect example of that. Williams off the left side. And he's tackled at the 21. He gets down. to about the 31 yard line. I believe I can go away. I'm not trying to pump fake. I'm trying to throw the ball away. Man. Because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Dude, what the fuck? Get to that quickly. He's to the 20. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 24 yard line. Third and manageable. Here comes the pressure. There we go, Brian Murphy. Nice catch. Finally, we got Brian Murphy. That makes it first and ten. Finally. There's a block. He's at the forty. At the thirty. And Dana is gone again. Ten. Touchdown, Dana. Look at that, they finding a way, way. Once he got into the open field, there was no looking back. What a score. Well, those preseason magazines Good certainly blocks. knew what they were talking about when they, they put tackled him on the American teams. <laughs> this get a quick throw. Tackle made at oh. about the 29-yard line. Ah! He has Dude, some what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? He's at midfield. He's down at the 46. Shit! Shit! This is some little subtle moves, man. Got you! Pressure, and he's sacked. Oh, no, That'll make it second and one. He don't want to pass it. Looks like no. he's his tailback. Hold on, get the, the first stop down. The 38 yard line. That'll make it third and one. Almost got him again. That first down marker. And that's the end of the third quarter. We got a that's nice little lead, but that go. can disappear quickly. In front by 19. So let's not get complacent. Let's not celebrate yet. He's under pressure. Backward pass. That's a fumble. Oh, the got offense it. falls on it. Damn. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Oh, damn it. He guns it to the left. Oh. Great concentration to haul it in. Who is that pass even going to? Around the 20. That's two receivers over there. One was just standing there. Got some open feet. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. Formation. Ah. Got him. 
out of it. At the 13. That's a great stop by the All-American. Nope. He tackles him for a loss. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. That makes it fourth and four. Denied. It's complete. And they oh my loss. God! I know they're not going to do this. The I know they're not. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Son of a bitch! Quick strike to the and receiver. Course, across the middle. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you gotta keep an eye for this guy. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Wants to throw outside. And he's got the junior. And down he goes. Oh, DJ. That's my DJ. Get the release and make the play. That's their third first down of the drive. Just, they just run through the blocks, the bro. Everybody that's blocking, or supposed to be blocking, is in the end zone. We can't get to the end zone if y'all don't block. You motherfuckers! Nice run up the middle. Now he tries to buy some time. Rolls right. Fires oh, Hey, go, my boy. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. Murphy. Nope. And now he's got room to run. He's tackled around the 47 yard line. Can't have it. And that one's incomplete. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Killed on the outside. Flips it middle to the running back, and he hits him hard at the 29. And here's a quick throw. Out of Makes bounds. Makes a grab and steps out right away. He was not out. He's out. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was Definitely got to look at it because he was in. out. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Clearly out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Thank you. He got beat off the line. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. It's another one of them he unstoppable drives. A touchdown pass to his wideout. Good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. No, the onside kick is coming. Let's catch it. He's taken down at midfield. Personal foul. Face man. Face man. Defense. Thank you. With the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. Gets out to about the 21. That's a great tackle at the 18 yard line. Brian Murphy tackles him hard at the nine yard line. He's taking it's like they right immediately the collapse as soon as I get past the offensive line. Touchdown. There's a touchdown, baby. The Lobos are so confident every time they hand this kid Put the, the game away. Away. special. Well, there's a reason he's the go to man. And California, California beats Arizona. And for Olsen, California, California. beats Arizona. Bears.
claim the victory. In the scene. thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks. And That's the no holes are too right big, bro. Like, there's no way he should be wide open right there. I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job. Brought down at the 20. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Inside the 10. Oh, boy. He's just running his passing yards up now. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a He got cooked. All he had to do after that was I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> he scrambled. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40. Yeah, I'm take trying to be petty and run the score up, but I don't want to risk it. And the quarterback's gonna take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And that's the ball game, folks. Um, <laughs> the offense really didn't come out too hot know that they have to enjoy this guy while in the first half. Because I guess you can say that because the next yeah, well, that'll definitely be because the offense only scored now, like to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really like to play call 10 or 17. We did have that punt return for a touchdown, entire group is, as, as just a whole added to the score. So, without that. That does it this game will be a little closer. Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. Well, uh, Donnell so Mason Jr., you started to find some guys. DJ, especially. Brian Murphy caught a few passes. Uh, Day Day was running the ball like he's been running the ball all year so far. Defense kind of let me down in the second half. I did not like that. They were just throwing the ball everywhere. I was running zone. I was running man. I was blitzing. I was doing a little bit of everything. Zone blitz. Man blitz. All out blitz. Strictly man. All zone. And they just picked us apart in the second half. But the good thing is, we played well enough to get a victory on the offensive side. Darnell Mason Jr. probably had the best game, total game, so far. Definitely played a whole lot better than Tim Alvarez. He went 12 of 16, 297, two TDs, did have that one interception. That was on me. You can't force passes. I tried to force that one just because it was a third down. I believe it was a third down. I was just trying to force it to Brian Murphy and I threw an interception. But he did complete 75% of his passes, which is very, very good. Got sacked five times. I don't like that. I thought I would be able to outrun those dms but apparently not on the rushing side daddy led the way with 195 yards on 22 carries three tds almost another 200 yard game for daddy on the receiving side dj led the way with 189 yards on four receptions and a td that's what i'm talking about dj that's what i need from you you are the upperclassman you should be doing this every game dj should be the ronald freeman of the lobo series there's nobody like ronald freeman but dj has the speed Trust Trust me, he has the speed, he has all the tools, all the talent to be a Ronald Freeman type player. You just gotta put it together. Brian Murphy caught three passes for 39 yards. Not a whole lot of yards, but he did have a TD. On the defensive side, Justin Martinez led the way with nine solo tackles and two TFLs. Also had a pass deflection. Arsenio Patillo had nine solo tackles and two TFLs. A.A. Run had six solo tackles, five TFLs and three sacks. Shout out to you, my boy. Jeremy Davis had two TFLs and two sacks. Caleb Jackson had a TFL. Tom Ellison had a TFL and a sack. Keith Doherty had a TFL. Uh, DG had a TFL and a sack. Actually, only one tackle, one TFL, one sack. Got all that on one play. But we did have the... And we have a, we had a forced fumble from AA run. And forget about that. We then we have a uh thought we had an interception, but we did not have an interception. I don't know 
what I was thinking about. Justin Martinez should have caught an interception. That's what I was thinking about. He had that pass deflection. And actually, Caden should have had an interception as well because they got he had the ball thrown right to him. But anyway, on the punt return side, he did have a TD here. He had two punt returns, 64 yards, and a TD. Shout out to you, Caden, the two-way star. Might have to line you up at receiver one of these games. In the games around the country, we got number 24, Mississippi. Ole Miss getting a victory over Bama, 28 to 21. We got SMU getting a victory over TCU, 31 to 27. We got Buffalo taking down Arkansas State, 35 to 28. We got BYU getting a victory over Boise State, 24 to 17. We got Army getting a victory over Rice, 31 to 17. And we got Utah, the team that, never mind, I'm not gonna mention that right now. <laughs> we got Utah getting a victory over USF, 45 to 24. In the game stats, you will see that we did come out. We did score a touchdown. We did actually score in the first quarter. We actually had a lead at the end of the first quarter. And we put up 17 more points in the second to their six. Another 73 in the third. We only gave up field goals for the first three quarters. And then they go on their little run at the end, scoring 21 of their 33 in the fourth quarter. But we scored 14 and end the game with a 45 to 33 victory. They did beat us as far as first downs. 19 to 17, but we ran them over with the rushing yards, 212 to 82. We also passed for 297, which is nice to see, but we gave up 340 through the air. I don't like that. Definitely don't like that. We also had two turnovers, always somehow able to win with the turnovers most of the time. I don't like that we have turnovers, but at this point, y'all expect them. And we also win the time of possession as well. Offensive player of the game goes to Day Day. He deserved it. And the defensive player of the game goes to AA Run. He also deserved had a very good game. AA Ron is looking like an early candidate for the Defensive Player of the Year. And for the recruiting board, we are in battles here. Cecil Longoria, we are in third, still waiting on the visit. Probably gonna go to the offseason. Jeter Ramirez, we might lock him up, maybe. It's probably just gonna lock us in here with the other three teams. Hopefully we get that visit and that pushes them out of the lock. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. We also got a visit coming up on Penta Ruiz. We're in second on him right now. We got Dominito. We're in second on him. And it's already a lock in place. Just trying to battle it out with them. We got Thor. We're in second on him. Jerry, we on top of his board. Cow. We're in fourth right now. Got a visit coming up in the next three weeks, I think. So we're in week five, I think. I think. And we're on top of Sticks Williams board. Would be nice to get him. And for the rest of these guys, I feel like we're leading on the majority of them. Except him leading on... Not lean on him. I did add some more points on him though. Lean here, gotta lead here, lean there, gotta lead there. Not leading here, not too concerned about that right now. And we have a lead here. Because if we get Chris Quinn, he can play free safety if we needed him to. We already got a strong safety. And for the top 25, Notre Dame is sitting on top right now after they get an overtime victory against was that in you is that northwestern i think so that is northwestern but anyway we are number two right now after our victory over usc georgia still at three tennessee still at four michigan still at five florida state still at six oklahoma at seven troy at eight tulane at nine and georgia southern sitting at number 10. okay let's scroll on down arkansas falls from number six to number 11 after they lose to texas a and m okay well, there's northwestern sitting at number 12 even though they're two and two florida is two and two sitting at number 13. a lot of two and two teams here in the top 15. south carolina uh texas a and m sitting at 16 at two and two but we got an old miss team sitting at five and oh we got a team sitting at number 20 that's one and two but we got fresno state at four and oh sitting at number 22. miami is number 23 at three and one illinois is at number 24 at one and two and we got wake forest in at number 25 after they lose 45 to zero to florida state <laughs> So far this season, we are sitting on top of the Pac-12 South, 2-0 in the conference, 1-0 in the division, 4-0 overall. UCLA is behind us, but they already have two L's in the conference, and I think we still got to play UCLA at some point of the season. We just played USC, no concerns about them, and Oregon State is currently undefeated on the north side at 1-0. Utah is also undefeated at 2-0, 5-0 overall, and Kyle is also 3-0 in the conference, but none of these teams have played each other so far. I feel like Day Day is running away with the 
Heisman right now. Still number one on the board. We got Ray Harden trying to move up a little bit, but you ain't touching Day Day though. Even though he had 219 yards. Also took him 34 carries to get that though. And we got Tyler Logan. He didn't have a good game. They got the win, but he didn't look that good. Reggie Owens, the quarterback from Michigan, he looked all right. And we got Michael McNair, another QB. He didn't look, uh, he looked all right. 180 yards through the air, 154 on the ground, three total TDs, not too bad. But so far this season, that he already has 801 yards on the ground, averaging 8.4 yards per carry, 200 yards per game, already has 10 TDs, long of 76, already beat the long he had last year. Yeah, just all his numbers are up. No fumbles, hasn't had a broken tackle, but a lot of times he's running free, so. And A.A. Ron earns himself the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Week. You deserve it, my boy. If you made it to this part of the episode, you already know how it go on this show. It's the outro. Oh, no! We go to USC, we get a victory. Not exactly how I wanted to get the victory, but how I want to get a victory and how we get a victory is not always going to line up. And you have to be okay with it. Not every team is just going to lay down and let you blow them out 42 to 10 or 41 to 10 or 59 to 14. It's just not going to happen every game. But I want to get back to the type of games we were playing earlier against Penn State. But they are the number 15 team in the country, so we're going to find out how good they are because we have to go to Penn State another away game we had three straight home games and now we're on the road for two straight games we get to test the team out early and I like it and you know what else I like I like when you guys hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell that way you be notified the next time I drop a video just like this one and also slide in the comment section and talk to your boy and if you're doing all those great things you great people I love it when y'all do those things because it helps the channel out and it lets YouTube know that y'all like the videos and y'all want to see more of these videos and it will push the videos to a bigger audience that's the whole goal but yeah if you're doing all those great things you can't get it on the shout out list and speaking of the shout out list i got it right here shout out to michelle jackson product visuals eric rams matt aarons warmaster 777 thomas bays dare deonnie patterson check your youtube arsenio patillo andrew minton aaron meyer roscoe underscore 34 crafty eagle craft little hair guy cameron hewlett corn d matthew dillard dirty creek sports leland clark the rock and roll millennial tay burns ethan marlowe aaron kaufman the number one mega general Sean Griggs, HB, FLG Blanco, Wheelchair Man 2, Envy Me, and Gandy Man. Shout out to all you guys and gals for making this channel look the way it does. Because without you, I wouldn't have 1,914 subscribers right now. And I wouldn't be getting the views that I get. And I wouldn't be getting the loyal subscribers that always hit the like button. I appreciate you. But I ain't gonna hold y'all over too much longer. I am your HC. This is the Lobo Series. Season number six, trying to get back in the playoff, but most importantly, we're trying to go undefeated in the regular season and then win the Pac-12 championship and then get in the playoff. Because if those two things don't happen first, there's a chance that we won't make it. But until next time, I'm out.